Hi and welcome to High Density. Today we have a special guest here on the show, Stefan Döppner of the F18 Institute. And uh, he's doing a special sort of project here at the University of the Arts in Zurich. So, hi. hi. hi, hi. <laughs> Maybe you want to tell us a bit about the project you're doing here. Uh, we're doing a, a workshop called Robo Stories, and uh, it's supposed to be a workshop for uh, uh, boys and girls. Actually, it's only boys. Oh, uh, again, okay. it's a workshop about uh, technology in everyday life. It's about to learn to deal uh, with, to live in the uh, surrounding of technology in the end. So we want that people learn to do things themselves, to take things apart, to uh, lower the respect somehow and not to see uh, technology as a kind of god but as something what they can influence, change, break and renew. Hmm, cool, so you're doing a sort of hardware hacking thing, you're building robots um, this one. Yeah, on a, I mean, this is on a very low and broad level. It's kind of robots. Uh, it always comes also to hardware hacking. It's not mainly hardware hacking, but uh, especially this time, we ask the kids to bring whatever they are interested in or what they find on, on kind of a low voltage level. And we try to integrate it into the little machines they create. Mm, cool. And so uh, so are you using any, any special equipment for this? Because uh, well, with the with the robot stuff, you know, Lego Mindstorms, etc., these prefabricated systems. But um, you're not using special equipment. Uh, it's right? not really special equipment. I mean, we work with these Arduino boards, which is some kind of low-cost controller boards, which you have to uh, extend even yourself if you want to work on robots, because it has only very low voltage hmm. uh, yeah. uh, output. So you have to do quite. A, it's. I mean, everything is kind of a special equipment, but it's every live stuff. But uh, each one can buy very easy and for okay. low cost. So the components are just just plain normal stuff? It's very easy. normal stuff which you can get all over the world more or less. I mean in okay. the Western, in the more better situated world probably only to be honest. Okay, well and, and the brain of the whole thing is the Arduino board um, in this case? Partly. I mean there's oh, okay. like uh, we have different levels of approaches and some kids they are interested in, in uh, programming and so in kind of uh, real little brain with microcontroller and others they just want to approach from a more electromechanical uh, uh, side so we build very simple uh, switch boards with relays and uh, uh, sensors so that machines t uh, go into some bump into something and turn their direction and go again and bump into again. It's very random, but actually it's funny because uh, the, on the programming side it's in the end the same. They try to program this bumper situation. They need even longer than the ones which build on the switchboard level. Um, so it's, uh, it's different levels of learning to understand uh, different sides of technology. Okay. But, uh, and so, are the kids overwhelmed or are they, is the level okay for the kids? Do you think... Um, five days are for sure much too short. Yeah. This is, uh, it's more to, to trigger, to open some door to show that there's interesting uh, possibilities to, to deal on these uh, several levels. Um, and actually each one found his gap or his bought niche. somehow his niche. Uh, 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 to to do something where he even finds some kind of uh, loveliness in, I would say. It's always, you know, it's not only about I want to know, and it's, they haven't had very big ideas, but uh, you had to still to lower and to help to sort a bit. Um, but I don't have the feeling they are overwhelmed or it's too much, but okay. um, it's not that they come to a product in the end, mm -hmm. but this is also not the idea. Yeah, it's just so they can get the foot in the door and... and yeah, and that they... That. it's also a lot about feeling, I think, mm -hmm. that they get a feeling that they are able to change something and to do something mm -hmm. on their own and to try to create something what they can perhaps control or at least where they can control where it comes from, what is behind. And uh, we try to teach them that it's normal to... to uh, or to... to translate to them that it's normal that you make mistakes that you don't come to what you w wish for but you find perhaps something else what is interesting so it's some kind of uh, engineer artistic approach which is quite different than what is uh, normally used and uh, uh, needed here in our systems mm. 
So it's a bit uh, subversive, it's perhaps too much. But we, uh, we put more the focus on, I don't know, some kind of love and want and, and, and feelings than on uh, products. Yeah, so you keep the, the, the experimental spirit yes. is there, you yes. keep that very much alive. And uh, okay. they, this is what they really enjoy actually. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and then for sure in between there's like freedom parts, more freedom, they just take their time and then they start to uh, break apart old computers and uh, jump into. But this is a part, I mean it's also for myself, if I see a w wonderful old machine I also like to screw around and take some things out if it's not working anymore and it's the same with the kids. Mm. It's very good. Can can adults do this? Could we try this once somewhere? Yeah, I it's hear, possible. I, can, I mean, yeah. we have now around about a history of around about seven years, I think, of doing this kind of workshops. Uh -huh. And actually, uh, we do it for, for people from 8 to 80, we say. Cool. So we had mixed workshops. We had workshops in the second uh, class uh, of some countryside school. We did it with just with uh, adults. Um, so it's possible and it's funny because uh, the adults if they come they are the same they get the same big eyes they uh, have the same fun to do something what because it's not that they have to fulfill and uh, they love experimenting and they start with the same two big ideas and you have to okay no we cannot make a car building robot or a bomb throwing robot and the same absurd ideas even as kids okay. so, uh, perhaps this is because of the offer somehow. So what we get often is uh, adults which still have a lot of kid inside. Well, they say men never grow up. So <laughs> yeah. But actually, uh, when we have adults, there's more often women in than oh. with the kids. Yeah, it's harder to uh, persuade or to translate the whole idea that girls are interested in. But with women, it is uh, already diff uh, different. That's strange. Not 50-50, but a uh, uh, better relation than 100-0. Yeah. That's what something we'd wish for anyway. So, uh, people can book you. People can, if they find someone to sponsor you, you can more or less make a workshop like this anywhere in Europe. Is that true? Uh, in general, yeah. We would do everywhere. Also outside okay. Europe. That's cool. It's just, uh, it's always a problem. I mean, we, we are living out of not only this, but uh, this is a part of our income. Mm -hmm. So we need a decent uh, payment. And then it's very easy that you, I mean, it's a lot of money in this material. It's not mm -hmm. really a lot. I mean, if you compare with some other stuff, but in the end, I mean, if you just want to build a little platform with two motors, some relays and sensors, uh, easily it's one thing is 60 euro. So yeah. this you do by 10, you have 600, then you, but it's not that each one wants to do the same, then you need some extra parts, the spare parts. So in the end, you have like 1000 euro easily mm. for uh, 15, 10, 15 people um, mm. just in material and then if you go somewhere it's like the travel, well, travel cost, uh, accommodation and you, so yeah. all the money goes for all the other things and then we hope a rest stays for oh. us for our honorary okay. uh, uh, um, so but we we are very interested to go to whatever different uh, uh, places and different situations um, i would like to go with kids or adults into the forest and do something like this perhaps a bit more with sound it's also it's not only uh, directed to to uh, robots it's mm -hmm. also in the end we deal with technology this is uh, for us interesting technology and uh, human beings um, like to find out about relation perhaps to ch uh, change something to uh, i would wish that we find a better situation with technology not i mean now it's like they build whatever they can all the shit most is shit mm -hmm. in my uh, 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 from my side of view, um, so I would like to have more Daniel Dusentrieps or Leonardo da Vinci's or just on the small scale, but mm -hmm. you know, uh, something more poetic mm -hmm. somehow to bring back or bring in general uh, more poetics into uh, technology. This is perhaps yeah, it's, it's sorely missing. Reasons. It's it's all just it's pretty cold and pretty yeah. cold and and on money and mm. uh, cheap as you can and. Yeah, well, I can see where that is not interesting, but what you're doing is interesting. So I guess if one of you maybe is interested in booking these guys, just check out their webpage and yeah. get a quote from Call you us. or something. <laughs> Call them. They're great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks very much for being Thank on the show. Thank you very much. Bye. Goodbye.